Hi, welcome to today's class. Today we have a Vietnam uh, matulipad challenge. The question is, what is the sum of all the real roots? Lower bracket, a pin 5 minus 3 to the power of s close bracket, this 3 plus x equal to 0. So we have to solve for the real roots, they discard the imaginary root, then no matter the number of real roots we are going to have, they add them together and see what that gives us. So if you knew yet this is online mass TV, do it to subscribe. All right, so we we'll take our solution to this. So we'll have your selection. So the first thing we're going to do is to move this S to this side of the equation. So this is going to give us here log this three into our five minus three to the power of X plus bracket equal to, we're going to have this to be minus X here. So what we do here, it's easy, we want to rewrite this in index form. We all know that there is a strong relationship between indices and logarithm. Remember? Yeah. So here, so from the relationship, we know that our log, let's say, x this y, okay, equal to, let's take this to be z, implies that our y to the power of z is equal to x. We all know this, right? Good. So this is a logarithm form, and this is the index form. So let's rewrite this expression we have here now in this format. So let's go ahead. So this now implies we're going to have this to be our 5 minus 3 to the power of x, plus bracket. This will now give us here our 3 to the power of minus x. Easy, right? Good. So what we do here? We look carefully, we just have to rewrite this because we are having 3 to the power of x here. So let's see how we can bring 3 to the power of x from here. So we find the reciprocal of this or we um, find the inverse of this. So therefore, we're going to have this to be our 5 minus 3 to the power of x is equal to 1 all over 3 to the power of x. So from here, we do a kind of substitution since what we have here and what we have here are the same. So let's bring in something to represent our 3 to the power of x. So here, let, let's use p. I like using p all the time. Let p be equal to 3 to the power of x. So we cannot rewrite this as our bracket 5 minus p plus bracket equal to 1 all over p. So we cannot open up this. In other words, let's eliminate this by multiplying both sides by p. So if we do that, we're going to have here a p into 5 minus p plus bracket equal to 1. So let's continue on this side. So let's open up this bracket here. If we open up this, it's going to imply that our 5p the minus, it will have p squared equal to 1. So we can rearrange this system here, right? We can bring this to this side and bring this to this side, right? So if we do that, this is going to give us minus p to the power of 2 plus our 5p equal to 1. We want to multiply through by minus 1. And so we're going to add up here having p squared minus 5p. Then here, this will give us minus 1. So we move it to this side, turn to plus 1 equal to 0. So this is a quadratic equation. We can solve this quadratically, right? So here, can we use the factorization method? No. So we use the completing the square method. Sorry, the formula method. So using the formula method, we're going to have our p to be minus b plus minus the square root of b squared minus or ac all over our 2a. So let's substitute. What is our b? Our b is minus 5. So we're going to have here minus bracket minus 5 plus bracket plus minus the square root. Or let's extend this. So we're going to have minus 5 out to the power of 2 minus 4 times our a is 1. Then times our c is also 1. Everything all of our 2 times 1. So we can purge it to give us here 5 plus minus square root, this will give us 25, then minus 4, then all over 2. And if we simplify it down, this will give us 5 plus minus the 
square root of 21 all over 2. So we have um, two answers from here, P1 and um, uh, P2. So here we're going to have a P1 is equal to 5 minus 30 plus the square root of 21 all over 2. And our P2 will give us here 5 minus the square root of 21 all over 2. Now, because we have been asked to look for only the real root, the sum of the real root, so automatically we must know that here our answer here this must be greater than zero okay because if this is less than zero automatically that will give us imaginary root so this must be um, our determinant must be greater than zero so now we have case one here this is greater than zero then here is also greater than zero so we now solve for case one to get our re root the real value of x because we don't have p in the initial state so we now come to where we say let p be equals to this so we take our case one is one yeah we're going to have our p we have our p is equal to this very guy here so we have five plus the square root of 21 yeah all over two so we're going to equate this to three to the power of x right so this now implies our 3 to the power of x is equal to 5 plus the square root of 21 all over 2. So what we do here, we take the logarithm, okay? Is it to base 10 or to base what? Now look at what we have here. So what to take it to base 3? So if we take log to base 3 on both sides, it is going to give us here log base 3 or here to the power of this, this is equal to our uh, log bracket 5 plus square root of 21 plus bracket there, this 3. This is all over 2. So let's cover it this way. Okay. We all know the law. We say that our log, log a, this a d is equal to what? 1. So this will give us 1 from this log here. Yeah. So, but before then, we apply the exponent law of logarithm, whereby we move this to this side of the equation. So automatically, we're going to have here x will now be equal to here. Let's take keep this guy. All good as well. Apply the division law of logarithm. But let's just keep it and see what this gives us. So we're going to have this to be log bracket five plus the square root of twenty one plus bracket all over to this three so this is our x1 let's keep this as our x1 okay so let's go ahead and look for our um, x2 here we have this to be case two so we're going to have here case two case two we're going to have our p2 which is equal to here we have five minus the square root of 21 all over Two is equal to here again we have three to the power of x. So let's continue on this side and see what this gives us in turn. Right, so from there we're going to have this to be around three to the power of x equal to there we have um five minus the square root of twenty one all over our two. Again we take log to base three like we did the other time. So we're going to have your log here base three. The 3 to the power of x equal to the log of this 3, the bracket our 5 minus the square root of 21 plus bracket all over 2. Same thing will happen. Here we move this backward here. Apply the um, uh, same base law. There, this will give us 1. So automatically we're going to have this to be our x2 will now be equal to log of 3. This 3 here, so we have 5 minus the square root of 21 plus bracket all over 2. So this is our x2. Now, again, let's look at the question. The question says we should look for the sum of all the real roots. So here we're going to add x1 to our, uh, sorry, x2 and x1 together. So the sum of it will give us here x1 plus x2. 
So what is our x1? Look at our x1 here. So we better have this to be log here, base 3, the bracket, our 5 plus the square root of 21, all of our 2, close bracket, plus, yeah, we're going to have same thing, log base 3. Um, let's erase this, okay? So we're going to have this bracket, our um, 5 minus the square root of 21, close bracket, all of our 2. All right. So from here, how do we now solve this? It's very easy. Okay, so let's erase this and continue on this side. Look at our x1 plus x2 here. Look at what we have here. So they have the same base. So we can apply the uh, rule of sum or solve. Okay, so remember, we know that if we have our log uh, m plus our log n, this is equal to log our m n. You remember this rule? Okay, so let's apply this rule to our expression. So what we have is in this format, so we can go ahead and express it in this format. So we're going to have our x1 plus our x2. This is automatically going to give us here um, log your base 3. Then we now use this to multiply this. So we're going to have your 5 your plus the square root of 21 all over 2 there times here we're going to have your 5 minus the square root of 21 plus bracket all over 2 also. Okay, so you discover that what we have here now, this is a conjugate of this, right? So if it is so, so we're going to have this to be our log this 3, then this time this automatically this will give us here. Four, then this time this will give us 25, then minus this will give us um, the square root of 21, the r to the power of 2. So this will end up giving us log our uh, this 3, then bracket 25 minus 21, right? Good. So everything all of our 4. So if we subtract this from this, this will give us 4. So this will now give us a log this 3, a bracket, our 4, all of our 4. And 4 all of our 4 will give us what? 1. So we end up having log our 3, or base 3, our 1. So we have log 1, base 3. And what is log 1, base 3? According to the law of logarithm, that is 0. So automatically, this will give us zero. So therefore, our x1 plus x2, which are the real root, is equal to zero. Okay. So zero is just the answer to the sum of all the real roots to this challenge here. So thank you for being there. If you learned something from this video tutorial, drop it in the comment section. If you're not clear with any of the Point them, drop it in the comment section. We'll respond to you. Thanks for being there all the time. Bye. See you in the next video.